Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Friday. It is the 4th of March, 2022. I'm going to look at the fifth race from Aqueduct, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The fifth from the Big A, it's an allowance race, purse $82,000. Race for three year olds and upwards, never won 15000 on the main claim starter or state for allowance race, which never won two races here. We have a field of six horses going one lap around the Aqueduct main track, which is 1,800 meters in circumference, or the distance of ground of a mile and one-eighth on the Aqueduct main track. 1,800 meters, a mile one-sixteenth. My top selection here, we're going to go take the five-horse winter pool, 5-4-1-3 in the Superfecta. 5413 Super, top selection of five-horse winter pool. This five-year-old game by Curlin, Chad Brown trains this one. Manny Franco gets the mount. Horse's most recent outing came ninth of January at Aqueduct, Mount Lathan Lounge Race 82,000, 9 to 1x, and the horse finished second by 1 3 quarter lengths. He didn't show a lot of speed that day, and he just he doesn't normally show speed, but definitely last time out he didn't show a lot of speed. He sat back early, but slowly moved his way up. It took him a little time to get going, but he was really closing up well late. I didn't think it was a half bad race. He's the kind of horse I would like to see him run on turf with his running style, but coming here today, I think he'd really run a good trip and really run a good race here today. Two back on the 12th of December at Aqueduct, what model? Lounge Race A2000 91X. He finished fourth by four lengths, was a little bit wide, and he just wasn't staying the one mile trip. The winner, Core Conviction, was just a little bit of a better horse there. And then before that, the 16th of October at Keelan, one mile Lounge Race 86,000. Finished second by a half length, was stupidly wide, but really closed up well with the short stretch. I thought for him to get placed was quite impressive there. And then before that, Saratoga, mile eighth, and the start of Lounge Race 50,000. He won by one quarter lengths, and again, he sat back early, slowly moved his way out. He was drifting that day, but he still got the job done. Coming here, he's trained. Training well, you know, he showed speed in a victory in his main victory at the church the last time out. I would like to see Manny maybe be a little bit more, you know, aggressive with him because there is a little bit of a lack of pace on paper. But I think he can get the job done. I'm gonna take the four horse King Come Belay if as your um your second leg loose winner. Um, he won at Parks very easily a month ago on the mud, winning by length from a stalling position. Before that, he, they ran him here in a lounge race in January where he just had nothing and had a horrible race. But I'm gonna give him another race for redemption. He's training well at Belmont. At eight to one, if there's a horse that can you know show some speed, it could be him. Three Kings is the one horse, or th excuse me, three Jokers. Um, you know his last race was just horrible where he hit the gate going out of it, and then the race before he should have won going a mile. Um, and then the Empire Classic on the stuff, he just wasn't handling it. So his last three races are just question mark, question mark, question mark. But he is getting some serious cl class relief. And 9 to 5, I'll use him on the ticket, but I do prefer others before him. But to recap my selection for the 5th from Aqueduct, let's take the 5-horse Winter Pool and give kudos to the 4-horse Kim Kumbale and the 1-horse 3 Jokers. 5-4-1-3 Super, 5-4-1 in the multi-race. So good luck to him. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.